Amazing you. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, hey, and welcome back. Mm -mm. Welcome back. Mm -mm. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to to. Welcome back to to. Or oh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Not me singing for y'all. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Stacia. I go by Namaste on Instagram, Stacia underscore G on TikTok. By the way, I want to say, well, I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but if you don't, just recently hit a milestone. I now have 1K subscribers, well, not subscribers, I have 1K followers on TikTok. The last two videos at the point of sharing this video with you guys uh, my last two videos on tiktok have over 10k views which tells me that being in japan was the reason for my hold back and my hold down but yeah welcome if you're new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and to let me know that you're here engaging the content you know guys don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button that helps a lot you guys are watching but you guys are not hitting the thumbs up button and shout out to my haters, the one who are hitting the thumbs down button. Anyways, in the kitchen. And that is because I was on these TikTok streets. And I saw this protein bar that I wanted to try. I'm not going to make a lot simply because I'm not sure if it's going to be good or not. So I'm just going to make a small batch. I'm going to put the TikTok on the screen right here so you guys can see the video in and of itself or the recipe that I'm trying to follow. But like I said, I don't have high hopes and that's why I'm making a small batch just to see how it turns out as opposed to making a big batch and then it doesn't turn out good and I absolutely hate it and I wasted my money and my time and money because I spent money to buy the items that I have. I already have them but you know what I mean. So we're gonna do that. I hear Lily out there screaming. I don't know if I want to let her in because she's hella annoying. If you're new here, Lily is the cat, the host cat, who sh she's basically trying to run the house, but it's not gonna work, not on my regime, okay? Anyways, let's get into the recipe. Let's go. These protein bars with just a few simple ingredients. To a mixing bowl, add oats, vanilla protein powder, peanut butter, honey, and a pinch of salt. Stir that together, then add a tablespoon of water or almond milk at a time and keep stirring until you have a very thick dough. Press the dough into a container, and then this is totally optional, but I added some melted dark chocolate and a pinch of sea salt on top. Place in the fridge for about 20 minutes until they're set, then slice up and enjoy. Say hi to my vlog. 
The smell of your perfume I thought I was immune Looking around this room Can't help but see the traces of you This moment is surreal I can't put in the words how I My feelings this way and I knew it was rare Cause people do what never did care Don't know what I would do If I had to go on without you Hey guys, good morning. We are heading to the gym. I was I woke up this morning and I saw someone le uh, someone left a comment on part four of my series video of the I just into life in Jamaica video asking for a I guess gym routine, which is crazy because I had uh, I intended on like recording like um. A gym montage. I don't know why I'm stuttering. A gym montage for you guys. But since I saw the comment, I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is like divine intervention because or divine sign, a divine sign or something. Because I was thinking about doing it and the comment was made. So I'm like, let me take you guys along with me on my little gym sesh. Today it's glute. So I prioritize leg slash glute, but if I'm gonna be real, it's glutes. I prioritize glutes. I work up my glutes three times minimum a week and upper body twice a week because like I said the main goal is to build a dumpy but I also know my body type and I'm very squirt so if you guys watched my last video you saw how my body looked in the black dress by the way thank you guys for all the nice compliments about my body so I don't have like a ton of hips and I feel like I'm very square in shape. So I have to work out my upper body so I can give the illusion of like the hourglass figure. I've also been integrating exercises that help to target like my glute minimus. So which is basically like my side glute to give the illusion of hips. So today it's going to be, mo I'm going to my, my glute workout again three days a week and I structure it so that like on a Monday it's like glue like the glute maximus and glute medius which 
I don't know if you guys understand this terminology. So the glute is basically divided into three. Glute maximus, glute, glute medius, and glute minimus. The glute max and med are the two bigger um, muscles. And then the glute medium, medius is like the smaller of the smallest of the three parts of the glute. So I'm targeting my glute max and my glute med today. And then on glute day number two, I'm going to be doing... Um, a mixture of quads but also like a side booty workout again to build or give the illusion of side glutes but yeah we're gonna go to the gym right now you guys probably would have seen my my outfit of the day so I don't need to show you guys that it is hot it is 10 55 I'm gonna head out now so see you guys at the gym hey guys I wanted to do a voiceover for this portion of the video to kind of give you guys a walkthrough as it relates to my glute workout so here i am at the gym before i warm up or anything i personally like to start off by setting up the first exercise that i'm going to do in this case it's going to be a hybrid of the cast glute bridge and a hip thrust if you don't know what those are i really can't help you you'll see what they are so basically how i structure my glute exercise or my glute workout is i usually start off with exercises that are in the shortening position uh, examples of those include the cast glute bridge a traditional hip thrust i usually start off with exercises that are the most taxing in my case it is the hip thrust slash cast glute bridge and I'm telling you, if you want to see real results, you're going to want to include that exercise. Anyways, so as you guys can see, I'm starting off with stretching. Now, I know I look awkward and that's because like my knees, I have been struggling with them. I injured myself a while back when I was living in Japan. If you're not new here, then you already know that. So I'm still working on my mobility so going all the way back like my bended knee going all the way back to my shoe causes excruciating pain so I just try to operate within the range of motion that is comfortable for me because I'm really not trying to exacerbate my injury my my left knee is actually a bit stronger than my right knee right now and I don't know if you guys can see the grimace on my face I feel discomfort at times but it's my fault because I was always someone who like slipped warming up I know it's something that I try to make sure that I get done because I understand the ramifications of not doing so. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking right now so you guys can enjoy the warm up. Then I'll catch up with you guys in a few. So we're going to start off with our cast glute bridge now one thing i want to make sure that you guys know is form is everything i'm lifting at a weight that is comfortable but also challenging and something that i've developed a skill one well, under skill it's something that i've personally tried doing and i love 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 the burn the feel at the top with this exercise I typically like to pause at the top and just so you guys know that when you're exercising the aim is always what we call progressive overload so I wanted you guys to pay attention right here when I hold so this is my third rep so three two one down and that's how I typically do it's my fourth rep and I usually count down from the rep that I'm currently doing so if I'm doing six reps I count down from six to one if it's eight reps I count down from eight to one so each rep I'm counting backwards to the number one if you get what I'm saying so once I'm doing that I find that I feel a burn and then 
when I'm almost close to failure or I'm at failure, I like to do these pulses and then hold at the top again. And I'm telling you, your booty cheeks are going to be on fire. The next exercise that I like to do, I like to do one unilateral exercise or sometimes if I'm feeling like a beast, I'll do both. I'll either choose between the reverse lunges or the Bulgarian split squat. Like I said, sometimes I will do both. Today I was only in the mood to do one and I chose the easier of the two, which is the reverse deadlift. So this is a, the second exercise that I typically go into after my first exercise. I just also want to point out to you guys two things. One, please don't be over there drinking Gatorade or any of those energy drinks. All you need to do in order to keep yourself hydrated through your session, get some Himalayan salt and add that to your water and you should be fine. The next thing is if you're doing single leg exercises, you always want to start off with the leg that is weaker. So always start off with whichever side of your body is the weaker of the two. That's the side that you want to start off with because you don't want lopsided booty cheeks. The next is the cable kickback. This is one of my favorite exercises that I like to do because I feel the burn. If you're looking to grow the top part of your booty and get that bubble butt, that shelf booty, you want to include this in your exercise. There are two ways in which I go about doing this. The first is kicking the working foot straight back. So following the line of the cable, I keep my foot aligned with the cable and I kick straight back. If you want to feel that extra burn, then I would suggest that you pause for a second or two at the top just to kind of work the muscles a little bit more. The other way in which you can do this, and I usually do both of the following in the same set. So the next way you can do this is by pointing your working foot away from the cable like a 45 degrees angle and kicking your foot away from your body so instead of going straight out like i'm doing here you're going to point the toe outwards away from your body and then kick your foot back also like from a 45 degree angle away from your body and again if you want that extra burn at the top you can like pause for a second or two the aim of this is not momentum so you want to do slow and controlled because that's where the growth is the last exercise that i'm going to be doing in today's glute session is going to be some hip abductors guys i want to make sure that you understand that if you're really really interested in working out the rule of thumb is you don't want to do more than five to six exercises in one session today i think we did about four of course if you want to do five or six that's also good but you don't want to overwork your muscles this is one of my favorite exercises to do because i feel like it targets all three muscle groups and if you're somebody with hip dips this is something that you want to include in your exercise again the key with all the exercises is progressive overload as you guys can tell i started off with like basic abductors but then towards the end i started holding and then when i'm almost at failure i do some pulls and again i want to work my muscles as much as possible so after we did that i tortured myself some more by going on the steer master this was absolutely torturous now don't pay this video any mind because i sped up the video 
However, I did. I don't think I did more than five minutes on the Stairmaster. This was my first time on there. And let me tell you something. Maybe I'm a little sadistic, but I shall be tackling this dear master until i conquer it but yeah that's pretty much what goes on in a typical monday workout session thank you for working out with me now back to our regular schedule program Hey guys, back home from the gym. I also did a bit of grocery shopping. I feel like every video I, I have produced so far has been grocery shopping, but if you're a gym girl, then you already know <laughs> you gotta eat. So let me show you guys what I got. All right, so the first thing I got is some chicken breast, which I'm actually going to season up some right now so I can get something to eat. I'm really trying to like wean off just a little bit off of uh, by the way it's raining so i don't know if you guys can hear that if you can i apologize so i got some chicken breast because i'm trying to wean off of the excessive protein powders so put that in the sink i also got myself one of these because even though my room is not aesthetically appealing in the slightest room must smell good per Next thing I got are some sweet potato, uh, sweet potato fries. Love, 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 love these. These are some of my guilty pleasures. I don't know if I'm gonna have some now, cause I think I'm gonna have a salad. Yes, I'm gonna put these in the freezer. Uh, I also got some cucumbers, which are going to go in my salad right now. And what else did I get? I got some yogurt. So where I live, these are the best I can do. There's another brand. This is really great yogurt that sell like the natural yogurt, which is what I prefer. But it's so hard to find. It's always a strawberry bullshit. So just have to work with them out. I think that's it and that's all. Oh no. How can I forget? Love of my life. Listen, I love me some plantains. Planting me every day. You know what I'm saying? So I got some plantains, I got two. Uh, that should be it this time for real, for real. Yep, that is it. So I'm going to get something to eat and then I'll shower and everything and then I'm gonna check in with you guys because we have some amazing news. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, I left you guys. It's been a few days since I last recorded the last clip. I'm going to be heading to the University of the West Indies, my alma mater, to start with some business because your girl got the job. <laughs> so remember I told you guys, I don't think it was the last video, maybe the last video or the video before that. I was telling you guys I did an interview at a couple of schools and the last interview I did was from the school at the school was at the school that I told you guys I really wanted to get the job at and they called me on Monday was it Monday or Friday I don't remember but they called me informing me that I was successful so in lieu of the aforementioned um, I'm going to have to provide a couple documents before I can begin my employment. So one of them is they need my university transcript, which I have to go down there to get because I tried ordering it online, but I was having some issues. So we're going to have to do that today, go back tomorrow to pick it up because I'm going to do the 24 hours service and we have a couple other things that we need to do. So let's go. Hey guys, I did not get to do my plans yesterday, so I ended up having to come back today to get it done. I haven't been on this campus since I left. Maybe I came back once. 
but this is my first time in over five years almost 10 years that i've been here almost definitely almost 10 years since i've graduated because i graduated when i was 22 damn i'm getting old anyways i finished what i needed to do but i just want to show you guys around my campus i met one of my past students and he was like aren't you coming to do your master's and phd i'm like hell the fuck no i am done with school but it is what it is yes i'm glad i got that done so i'm gonna head back into my little country but yeah let me show you guys around my little university campus i was in this faculty over here i was in the faculty of humanities and education and this used to be like our hangout spot in between classes this is the infamous big tree where we'd hang out in between classes oh my god and we used to have like classes sometimes and consultations in these buildings over there for sure over here we used to have classes as well y'all when i tell you i was broke y'all see that water fountain right there i remember not having enough money for lunch sometimes and there was a stall over here i would buy like two bananas and drink water from that fountain that's how broke i was so <laughs> needless to say i've come far 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 away a far 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 away from where i used to be and we give god thanks for that but you guys are a little choppy anyways guys we're gonna head home so i'll see you guys when i get home It is the last day of this vlog and we have a few errands to run do you guys even care about my outfits i'm wearing this this is from well most of the outfits from Shein. this glasses is from river island watch from jbw this bag is from uniqlo japan this is a bodysuit this is from Shein. so too are these shorts that i showed you guys previously and on my feet i'm wearing my new balance y'all i am so 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 tired i woke up this morning and i felt very tired i feel like i've been struggling with sleep i don't i think i may have to go get something to help me fall asleep because i've been struggling i feel tired but i just can't fall asleep and i know that's because my cortisol level is high so i need to get that under control but in the meantime i need something to like help me fall asleep so i have a lot of errands around today i don't even think i'm going to make it to the gym which is annoying but i'm going to try and make it tomorrow for sure because i don't want to fall off the path also i've definitely been gaining weight because when i put this jean shorts on not too long ago <sighs> you're always getting thick that's all, that's all i'm going to say listen anyway so we're gonna head on the road right now am i missing i think i'm leaving something we're gonna head out on the road right now so i'm going to do a little montage of course and uh, show you guys what's happening and with my camera it attracts attention so i'm just trying to be as incognito as possible with my vlogging so we're going to head out now and yeah get some errands done look at me where she wanna be call me freaky t i'm the man 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 i'm the man